Hey, what's up, you guys? Chris here, back with another video. And a couple of weeks ago, we checked out the Steel Series Arctis Nova Pro wireless headset to see if it was still worth the price after two years from its original launch. This week, the awesome team over at GameSir were kind enough to send me over their product called the GameSir G8 Plus. Now, a quick disclaimer, GameSir is not paying me to make this video and they do not get to see this video before I post it. And to be even more transparent, I will be comparing it to other products in the market like the Backbone and the Razer Kishi V2. The Kishi V2 was gifted to me by Razer a while back when we did a comparison video between a couple handheld controllers, which I will link above, and the Backbone I bought with my own money. And to this day, I have told people that I prefer the Backbone over most of the competition. That is until today. Now, the G8 Plus was officially available for pre-order on July 4th, 2024 for the retail price of $79.99. This is $20 cheaper than the Backbone and cheaper than the original price of the Razer Kishi V2, which is now on sale very often for $70 or less if you pick up a used one online. That being said, the product is made very well and honestly has turned into one of my favorite handheld controllers ever made, which is a big deal because I keep reviewing controllers and the Backbone has always stayed number one on my list. Hi, kitty. Oh, look at you. The G8 Plus has a very ergonomic shape, which I would compare to that of an Xbox controller. It features its four face buttons, inverted thumbsticks, a D-pad, plus and minus buttons, which act as a pause or select, a record button so you could easily record clips while you're playing your mobile games. There's also an M button that you can use in conjunction with the D-pad to kind of mess with the volume controls, a game serve button, which acts as a home button on iOS, and then proper L1, L2, R1, and R2 buttons. But in addition to the those, you also get two back buttons that you can map to whatever you'd like. I absolutely love the way the buttons feel. It's like the perfect middle point between the firm click of the backbone and the mushy click of the Game Vice Flex. And I gotta say, they did it right. Even the D-pad feels so satisfying, but I also asked a second opinion for someone I knew, and they did tell me they prefer the backbone D-pad a bit more. You can also see at the bottom, they include a USB-C port to charge the device while you're playing and a button right next to that to sync it with different products, including a computer if you actually wanted to. Now the G8 Plus size is definitely bigger than the competition, but I think what you lose with portability, you make up for in quality and experience, and it still definitely fits into most backpack pockets. In addition, it expands quite a bit to fit all types of phone sizes and even possibly some smaller tablets with their cases on, much like the Game Vice Flex. The G8 Plus is completely wireless, which is a very convenient way to connect to both Android and iOS devices, though this might mean some additional latency when playing games like PUBG or Call of Duty Mobile. I personally haven't experienced anything crazy with latency to say it's a worse experience compared to the other handhelds available, but it is something I wanted to note for those of you curious. Now, overall, the GameSir G8 Plus is a wonderful product. The size and the feel in the hand, one of the best button feels among the controllers I have tested it out on this channel and there's just so many good qualities to this product honestly the only thing that i could think of that would make this product even better is if there was a way to wirelessly charge your device while playing and charging up the controller I know that would probably mean creating a new expandable hinge to hide all the wireless charging features in, but I really hope they can find a way to make it work for future iterations. But yeah, guys, that's it. And thank you again to GameSir for sending this product over so I can make a video. And thank you all for taking the time to watch. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up. It helps push the video in the algorithm and it lets me know that you're enjoying this type of content. But once again, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye.